whatever policies, dreams, aspirations that he had for this country, he had an opportunity to govern and implement them over a four-year period. He failed abysmally, and the good people of this country asked him to go home and rest and pay him until he dies. He comes back today and says what? He said he comes back with experience. Experience with respect to what? Experience of handling the economy. And how, how, how is it a basis for anybody to vote? For him to come back to because of the it's times, it's because of the times we are in, you are need the some in? the, the, the times of economic difficulty. We were saddled with a global pandemic. We were saddled with a war that was not created by the Akufo administration. How global supply chain disruptions can be attributed to Akufo Ado's misgovernance or mismanagement beats my imagination. The signs were there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, assuming that there were signs. How does a container price moving from $2,500 average to $18,000 average for 20 footer become that of the president? I want to find out from you. If the dollar had remained at five I cities didn't and say, not at I didn't, cities. I didn't speak of exchange rate. Fair enough, but I'm, hold, but, on, hold on, I didn't speak of exchange rate. I mentioned freight cost yes. moving from $2,500 average to about $18,000. Average. How is that attributed to the present? At, how, how has that got to do with anything on exchange rate? But I'm saying that at eighteen thousand so, dollars, which which a dollar is to five cities, so the difference, the difference between the two thousand five hundred and the eighteen thousand would necessarily be recovered by anybody who imports goods into the country. Fair enough. And it would impact the prices of commodities on the market. Fair enough. So how is that? A, how is that? A, how was a good problem for that? But the price could have been reduced so let, a little so bit review, if let, the exchange let, rate review, is not that high. Let's review Mr. Mahama. At least I've given you two reasons, okay? The pandemic and then the Russian-Ukraine war as basis for our economic challenges today. What was Mr. Mahama's reason for taking us to the IMF?